We have theories from all over the internet that are going to make us question everything. If you have a video and you want it featured on this channel, please make sure to join the Discord. The link is in the description down below. I'm going to address the elephant in the room. These are two gems, okay? Because I know I'm going to have people that's going to ask, but they're two gems. Thank you, Mike, for the video. How do we f over the citizens of this state? Like, how do we, like, how do we do that? What if we use taxpayer <laughs> money to help fix, like, the roads and create public transportation, like trains and buses and stuff? Okay, that sounds like our government is actually doing something good. But right, we, right. We need to do bad. He didn't let me finish. Sure, they can ride the bus and the train or the subway or whatever, but they have to pay to do it. That's genius. Right? Like, people are forced to pay taxes. It's not a choice. Like, it's, it's mandatory. And yet, we still have to make them pay for the thing that they paid to make. Can you imagine having to take the bus to work where you earn that money that gets taken out for mm. taxes to pay for that bus, but you still have to pay the ride the bus? Thank you, Bino, for the video. Remember how I said earlier in this speech that um, the farmers need to give up their, their farms before 2030, specifically that year? Yeah, so that's not a coincidence. That year doesn't come out of nowhere. So that year is basically going? the deadline that our global elites have given our country and will probably give you um, to abide by these new regulations. And that agenda is called the 2030, 2030 agenda. agenda. And now I have a slide showing you what that entails. So the 2030 agenda is a United Nations agenda. So mm. there we go. Everybody is part of the United Nations, right? The entire world. And this agenda consists of 17 what they call sustainable development goals. And when you take a look at them right there, you're like, well, what's wrong with that? You know, Are they all smart seem cities on there? very noble. No poverty, no hunger. Who could be against that? However, if we take a closer look at how they actually want to accomplish all of this, mm. anybody with two functioning brain cells realizes that this cannot happen unless there is an active and maybe even forceful redistribution of goods, foods, property, and our rights, which basically comes down to the obliteration of all of our basic liberties uh, and our rights. And these goals, as I said, are not restricted solely to the Netherlands. They are global. And that's where we see their true motive. The people behind this want to establish a one world government, a new world order in which they decide Ooh. what we eat, when we eat, where we travel, when we travel, who we meet, and what we are allowed to spend our money on. Basically, control over every single aspect of our lives. And I'm sure that many of you have heard the, the famous sentence from Klaus Schwab, you know, where he says, you'll own nothing and you'll be happy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's this agenda. So why are the people behind this agenda specifically targeting farmers? Well, it's because obviously they really want our way of life and the things that we eat to radically change. They don't want us to eat foods that make us strong. They want us to eat synthetic meat created by Bill Gates. They want us to eat bugs. They want us to drink soy milk so that we become weak and obedient. That's sad. And we do as they say, and we buy what they offer. What we want to begin to find out is, when did it start? You see, it's called the fourth grade syndrome. Studies show that black boys may be the best students in the country up until the fourth grade. So we wanted to find out what your son, a male student, was doing at the beginning of the third grade, then at the end of the seventh grade, and then measure the progress. Let me give you three examples. We had a little boy five years ago on an hour reading test score at the 98th percentile in the country. In other words, a walking genius. Mm -hmm. That means only 2% male, female, white or black had a higher score than he at the beginning of the third grade. At the end of seventh grade, the same boy now drops down to the 35th percentile. Engineer potential here, pimp or pusher now, scores should have improved five years, instead they only improved 1.3. Two more examples. We had a little boy at the 92nd percentile, he dropped down to the 24th percentile, and his scores only improved 2.1. But let me give you the average example. We had a little boy at the 63th percentile, he dropped down to the 4th percentile, and his scores didn't improve a year, a month, a week, not even a day. 
There are three critical stages in black boys' development. Infancy to 9, 9 to 13, and 13 to 18. You see, it's easy to see the negative behavior here when he's already dropped out, laid up on some street corner lacking direction. It's more difficult to see it around nine years of age when they begin to sit further in the back of the class, when they begin to ask less questions, when their ball becomes more important in their book, mm. when they begin to cheat on their tests. We appeal to you. I was reading, they were saying it happens to like the, the black girls as well. And then somebody was saying how fourth grade was a turning point for them too. Fourth grade syndrome, I've never heard about that. Have you guys heard about that? Through a second wall entering the air gun range. Then the bullet does something unbelievable. It strikes an ordinary ceiling tile. And for some unknown reason, it doesn't blast straight through into the roof. Instead, it skids along the tile for seven inches before mysteriously changing direction, making a 10 degree turn and begins a downward path. Is this real? It slows to about 900 feet per second, penetrates a plaster wall and enters Trey Cooley's head. It did all that. Was so thrown off. I don't know who Trey Cooley is, but somebody put Leland Harold Trey Cooley the third died as described above September 29, 1991, age 14, and he's buried at Restland Memorial Park. I don't know who this man is, but the fact that that bully <laughs> went through all that and hit whoever this person is. Like X marks the spot. Somebody said he got aimbot. Oh my gosh. Next video. Thank you, Alexandria, for the videos. Watermelons may be fake. You see when you are walking into the grocery store nowadays and head to the fruit section. Watermelons, grapes, bananas, cucumbers, and a few others are no longer containing their seeds. Is it odd that they say it's for our convenience? Has it also ever crossed your mind on why the state of Michigan bans most stores from selling seeds? While these foods may still have benefits, you always want to be picking the fruits with seeds because the seeds contain the most nutrients and are also capable of reproducing life. Mm -hmm. When you are taking away the seeds from the fruits, you are then removing the ability to regrow these fruits and crops. Big corporations despise this because they want us to buy fruit from them. And that is why they selectively breed these varieties to not have seeds and not be found in nature. And they are now trying to do this to more than 90% of herbs and plants. So what should you do? You may be asking. You need to stock up on herbs in bulk so you can supply them to your family. So when the apocalypse comes, you will be prepared. I can't say much more here. Take the <laughs> leap while you still can and stay ahead of the game. I look at like fruits and vegetables so differently now because it makes me reverence my Alua, my creator, Yahuwah, and the son of man, Yahusha Hamashiach, a billion times more because they made stuff that duplicates. Everything that they made is living and it duplicates. So when you look at your fruits and your vegetables, they all have seeds or some way of reproducing whatever it is that you're eating. Just look at food. When you're eating on strawberries, those strawberries have seeds, so you can take those seeds and make your own strawberries. When it comes to avocados, you can take that seed that's in the avocado and reproduce more avocados. You can take the seeds from the tomatoes and make more tomatoes. So really, when you think about it, all you have to do truly is buy something one time because you should be getting the abundance out of the stuff that you bought. It's just, it's beautiful. When it comes to like us humans, we can procreate and make children. Does that make sense on what I'm saying? It's like that seed is powerful. All conspiracies contain a nugget of truth. Watch yes, this. Yes, they do. No. About your conspiracy, brother. There aren't that many conspiracy theories anymore because we found out that all conspiracy theories, there's a nugget of truth in there. It came from somewhere. Mm -hmm. That's where it became a theory. Mm -hmm. And then it progressed to the point where it became a conspiracy theory. Mm -hmm because there was something there. See, in our industry, who pays you is who tells you what Come on. narrative you I know we've seen this before, it just wow. feels and good to watch I'm not paid, so I own, own my, my narrative. narrative. Wow. So, if in media, somebody's getting paid. I've got one that can see. Yeah. Uh, 
pay attention, y'all. They have to let us know first before they can do anything to us. That's how God laid it out for these little de de demon which They can't with us without letting us know that they're about to with us. Remember Men in Black? They read the, the National Enquirer for the real news and they didn't watch the, the fake news because that ain't the news. They tell the truth in them, them, them little rags, but everybody thinks it's fake. Remember the TV show Fantasy Island? It's Epstein Island, man. See, that, that little Mexican at the beginning? That's a little boy fantasy. That's why we said, the plane, the plane. The plane, the plane. I be thinking. Look at the, all, all, all the Simpson episodes, like the one when they killed Kobe in the helicopter. See? You think that's a coincidence? Mm. No. They have to let us know what, what they they're going to do. Will Smith in that, uh, that gay scene in Six Degrees of Separation. Y'all acting surprised. <laughs> they been telling us. I haven't seen that. The only conspiracy theory I believe is the Nick Cannon conspiracy theory. And what's the Nick Cannon <laughs> conspiracy theory? It's the fact that Nick Cannon is having all these kids so that he can like get like bone marrow or something from them. And oh. it won't hurt them. Oh. Because he got 12 kids. And he's just having these kids back to back, no child support. He has <laughs> contracts. He's in all the maternity shoots. I believe it is because he was sick and he needs some kind of bone marrow or some kind of testing. So he's having more than, than one child. And Mariah kids don't count. Mariah Carey kids is not getting touched. So only 10 kids. Only them 10 kids is getting touched. Okay. Because Mariah Carey kids is the rich kids. Right. His other baby mothers, they broke. They regular women. You just hear about the kids. You don't hear about no drama. Right. It's because it's contracts. It's things set in place. It's NDAs that has been signed. I believe this conspiracy theory. He's not just having kids to have them. So I'm not going to confirm or deny what that man said, but it makes sense. It threw me off because Nick Cannon had the twins for the longest. Cool. You know, with Mariah. Then he had the third child. Fine. You know, that usually happens. People be married, divorced, whatever. I don't even remember if they was married now that I think about it. I think they were. But, you know, you get a divorce, you get with somebody else and you have a child. That's kind of how it goes. But then he just kept having children back to back to back with different women, different women, different women. And I'm like, women, ladies, this man has a kid with her, 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 her. Did you think you were going to be any different? This man, you would even think he had a, a child that's no longer even here on this earth. You would think that'd be it. No, he kept having some more. So that's the one thing I didn't like because, you know, Nick Cannon supposed to be, was supposed to be woke and was supposed to be aware of who he is and, you know, who he comes from, like the bloodline and stuff like that. But he's putting like a bad rep on the Hebrew Israelites because you're saying that you're this and you're saying that you're this, this and that. But again, that goes back to the, the Bible verse of, you know, people can say stuff with their lips, but their actions aren't showing it I'll, I'll bring up the bible verse it's gonna be here but they they say it with their mouths but they don't truly mean it with their inward parts like you're not showing that you're an israelite you're just saying you're an israelite that's what threw me off about nick cannon but if that's why this man having <laughs> i don't know it was a great theory it was it was a great theory but um we'll we'll go ahead and get on to the next video now come look at this the devil has always used music as a cue to bow I just want to rock. Body of ya. Look at his face. It's in my brain. Do you know that? It's living rent free. I can't get it out. You did that. Yeah, it's hypnosis. <laughs> yeah, she laughed. Now, you're going to tell me that you can listen to music and not be affected by it? Come on. You've lost your whole mind. Your whole mind. 100%. Oh no, Brother Chavis, I just like the beat. No, no, no. It's mm -hmm. impossible. It's impossible. Listen to me. It is scientifically impossible to only listen to the beat. Bring it out. You ingest the words. You are what you eat. You are what you And we wonder to. why we keep having teenage girls get pregnant. And all they do is listen to songs about fornication. <laughs> Hello, somebody. And we wonder why we can't get behind the preacher when he preaches is because you've allowed the world to preach to you through your earbuds for 30 hours this week. And you expect the preacher to get through to you in an hour? Thank you, Earthy, for the video. I want to talk about cranberry juice, right? I used to love cranberry juice, especially to mix my drinks with. 
Um, but you know, I, I switched to the diet when I was trying to lose weight. You see, it only got five calories, and then a hundred percent of the profit go to farmers. You see, it? and it only one gram of sugar. So I'm like, nice. Flip it I over. Paying attention to the ingredients, and just see right here, natural flavors, which isn't natural. You see, citric acid. Uh, what? How you say that, babe? Acid. Sodium citrate, ascorbic acid, all that. Acyl flame, potassium, red forty. I'm wondering why they put red food coloring in cranberry juice when it's already red. Facts. What I did. I made a switch from that to this right here. Pure cranberry juice. I, notice in the ingredients, notice the difference. It contains 100% fruit juice, ingredients, cranberry juice, and it's red. And what I do, I mix a little spring water with it and some agave and shake it up, and that thing tastes even better. My name is Jabez El Israel. I lost 100 pounds. Still eating the foods that I love to eat. That's why I wrote my book. This was me in 2014. We've helped thousands of people lose weight with this book. You know, I was eating chicken, rice, bread, pasta, drinking what I like. I had to learn how to choose the right versions mm -hmm. of the foods that I like to eat. Uh, we're doing 50% off for Mother's Day if you want to grab a copy. We got the discount link under my profile picture. Prayers up, blessings up. Shouldn't take all that to make cranberry juice. If you ever go shopping with me, you're going to see me turn the package around and look at the ingredients. But this started literally when I started walking in this walk, meaning this way of life, meaning laying my life down to live for Yahoo and Yahusha. Because there's certain things that we can't eat. There's stuff that Yahuwah said is food for us and there's stuff that he said that's not food. Like for example, the, the shrimp, the crab, the lobster, the pork, all the stuff that everybody loves. Yahuwah's children, AKA the set apart, can't eat on those things. And don't hit me with the laws done away with, because it's not. <laughs> please because i can prove to you it's not done away with but i started reading package labels because of that but on top of how i'm changing my eating habits and how i'm eating and drinking better this has also helped me with like don't get this because i'm telling you when the list ingredients look like this for some orange juice mm -mm. orange juice should only be made out of orange juice why is there 50 billion things and it's not even just with the juice, it's the foods. It, it's everything that you can think of. So I've just been learning to kind of stay on the outskirts of the shopping stores or your grocery stores because you want to go for the whole foods, the plant-based whole foods, the stuff that they can't really tap into like that, putting all that extra stuff in there just to make it taste great or to make it look great. I mean, I know they're doing stuff with the fruit and vegetables as well. It is what it is with that. But at least you can save yourself from all this processed stuff if you stay away from the insides of the store and you kind of just shop on the outside of it, if that makes sense. We finna watch this brief history lesson on the Bible. In the year 16, I need y'all to listen now. The Vatican removed 14 books from the Bible. To this day, there is no explanation as to why. And the Vatican is happier with the general population not knowing. There were originally 80 books in the Bible when it was translated from Latin to English back in 1611. These days there are only 66. The missing books are known as the Apocrypha, which in Greek means hidden. The missing books include Esdras, Tobit, Judith, the Wisdom of Solomon, the Songs of the Three Holy Children, Bell and the Dragon, Maccabees, and the Prayer for Manasses. Even stranger is that Jesus' name was spelled Aesus before these 14 books were removed. Hmm. The church changed the pronunciation and spelling. If they had never changed anything, you'd pronounce Jesus' name as Yahushua. Hello, now, but Yahushua. I say, and I have read these books multiple times. You cannot get the whole story if you haven't read these hidden books. Because that means you have half the truth. Half the truth is what? A lie. So that means you guys been lied to. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Now this is fascinating. What if I told you that there is now proof that Jesus lived? The way this ends is just shocking. Okay, so back in 1982, there's this guy, Ron Wyatt. He's digging around in Jerusalem, and he hits the jackpot finding the Ark of the Covenant just chilling 20 feet under where Jesus was crucified. But here's where it gets really trippy. The lid of this Ark, it's cracked in half. And there's this strange, dark stuff that had leaked into it. Wyatt, he's curious, so he scoops some of it up and sends it off to a lab in Israel. The lab tests this stuff and turns out it's blood, but not just any blood. This blood's got only 24 chromosomes, all from the mom, no dad. So we're talking about a kid <laughs> born from just a mother. 
Wyatt's mind is blown, so he goes back to the spot, does a little more digging, and realizes this blood had dripped down from the exact place where they nailed Jesus to the cross, seeped through the cracks right onto the ark. It's like we're not just talking about faith or beliefs anymore. stuck with me and it made me like change the way I come off dress wise and modesty is dress how you want to be addressed a lot of the men that will approach you will approach you in a different way just by the way you dress I love this it cultivate value of modesty because we do live in a time and in a generation where women are barely wearing clothes I'm gonna be honest I'm like all you did was just cover up the you know what I'm saying like you're naked like if that thing just flew away you're it starts, it, it does, it starts in the home. And another quote that sticks with me a lot is that children learn off of what you do and not what you say. Yeah, you can say stuff. Yes, yeah, you know, ears to hear, but it's what you do. I have met so many people that have said something, but their lives didn't add up to what they say. I'm sorry, I'm just big on quotes, but I now watch what people do and not what they say because people talk too much. <laughs> because actions speak louder than words. It really does. Thank you, Orlandis, for the video. The electric car is not to save the world from climate change. It's to impose control. It will decide where you can and cannot go. Because where they don't want you to go, it will not take you. Mm. The computer will not drive the car there. That's the idea. Ooh. And the technology for that is simple. And they've got it on golf carts now. You know, where they don't want you to drive in a golf cart, it will stop. You have to reverse. I know it sounds well, simplified. No, no it's it, not simplified. It's, it's, it's actually a wonderful example mm. of what the plan is. How many of y'all got electric cars? How many of y'all got Teslas? How many of y'all got that new Tesla truck? <laughs> Just play. Thank you, Eric, for the video. That's like pretty. Uh, so all this from a tear, a sad tear. So does a happy tear look the same? Watch this. If the banks close down, I'm just give you some info you don't know. If the banks close down right now, you can have a million dollars and they don't give you 10% of your money. When you signed that dotted line, when you went into that bank and got that bank account, you didn't even read that part. None of us ever. You just signed. Be like, what the? 
they ain't gonna steal my money. What do I care? No, it says if we shut down and you got five thousand dollars, we're gonna give you five hundred dollars. Go to China right now. You start talking a little bit about what's called Skynet, and Skynet is this massive surveillance program. Is it cool, Skynet? Yeah, it's ridiculous. So in certain places of China right now, if you want to board a metro, you have to run a biometric. They evaluate whether or not you've been talking. About the government online, and they'll drop your social credit score. If you have a poor social credit score, you want to get into your apartment. Says access denied. They don't even let you into your own home. It's getting really crazy. They have facial recognition cameras in every sidewalk, and what they do is, if you jaywalk when the light is red, it'll scan your face and it'll deduct money automatically from your bank account. It gets so crazy that in certain places of Shanghai, you want to walk on the sidewalk. You're only allowed to walk in one direction. If you walk in the opposite direction, they scan your face, deduct money from your bank account, and if you don't have money in your bank account, social credit score gets removed. What the heck? First and foremost, I don't know if you guys remember that uh, Black Mirror episode. It's different, but I'm relating it to this video. But it was a Black Mirror episode where this girl was like so, she wanted this social media presence and wanted to look so perfect. And you were based off of like people rated you all day. So you, you would either get one star or the five stars. That's what this video is giving because in that show, I don't want to give off too much just in case nobody's seen it, but it was like she lived her life in a way that was just social media. So, you know, social media is fake. It's not real. People are only going to show you the, the pros and not the cons. People are only going to show you the positive and not the negative. Points would get knocked off if she had like an attitude, if, you know, it was, it was all types of stuff that you can get points knocked off for. So that's what this sounds like. It's like if you're going against the grain, except not, it's not points, it's not social media points and your, your status when it comes to social media. No, this is your life. Now, I'm not saying that this is real and that this is true. It's just very interesting because I was reading the comment section. Somebody said that they have uh, grew up in China and would visit every two to three years. And they're living in another part of China and they've been to numerous cities in China. He said both for a family and for vacation said this is not true. So. I don't know. Somebody said, has anyone not seen Terminator? They said America is next already because when they do it in one country, I guarantee you, it's just going to fall down the line with all the other countries. So it has to start somewhere first and then it will branch its way out to other countries. American bread is not really bread. American bread is not bread. And it's absolutely horrible for you. See, to get the fluffy, sweet, delicious bread millions of Americans love to eat, you need a few very special ingredients, like potassium bromate, an additive that makes bread rise, or azodicarbonamide, a chemical to bleach and strengthen the dough. Do you know where else you can find these chemicals? In yoga mats, pesticides, and even explosives. Oh my and all these chemicals have one thing in common. They can cause all sorts of... That's ah. why the European Union, the UK, and even China have banned them from food production. But not in America. To this day, the FDA says these additives are generally recognized as safe to eat. Ah, uh, yes. I'm saying that we have a lot of power. We have power to make heaven and hell for our men. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying, let's try making heaven. Let's try to build him up. If a man has his woman behind him, he will believe he can do anything. And all we need to do is to get our men to believe that they can do anything. And he'll be able to, you know, do much better than he's doing now and come out of the pitiful condition he's in. As I said, I'm not exonerating him. I'm just saying that all of that strength that we have, let's use it in a more positive way Love instead it. of just going for self. You know, nobody told us that all of that being my own person and I'm independent would lead to separation and loneliness. But that's what we had. It's that last part for me. Separation and loneliness. It will lead to that or that independentness because this is what our female artists in the industry are pushing. But it's funny that the ones that are pushing this have husbands, have boyfriends, have partners, but they push an independence. Do you see how you have to go off of what people do and not what they say? Because People are not saying what they mean and meaning what they say. So don't get caught up with, with uh, Sexy Red and, and Glorilla and Mulatto and Ice Spice and I can name some more people. Hold on. Uh, Cardi B. These people have men in their lives. And they're, oh, oh, I got to ask Sierra. I have to. I got to ask Sierra. Sierra had this one song that was... It sounded cool. I'm not going to lie to you. But then I was listening to the lyrics and I was like, 
How can you make a song like this when you're married, happily married from what we can see on social media and in the news sources, and you're making a song about being an independent woman and not having to have no man? Why, why are you making something that you can't relate to? You making this for the single women? Because the single women are trying to be like you. They're trying to find out your prayer on how you got Russell. Do you see how it doesn't make sense? It's a, it's a gap we're missing. So women can make heaven or hell for their man. Y'all treat y'all men as kings. Don't treat them as peasants. We already live in a world where, especially our black men, done dirty. They're just in a world full of People just mistreat them. Don't let them come home and have to go through the mistreatment times too. Let that be a safe place. You be his peace. You do know that the federal government was so apt to issue my brand new grandson a social security number and a new insurance policy that that was the first thing they did before they even found out his name. Dang. His grandchild number six. There were so many numbers that the bracelets had bracelets <laughs> and a wrist monitor right there too. This document right here says we begin at birth. And according to Colonel Edward Mandel House, this is what's supposed to happen when we're born. Very soon, every American will be required to register their biological property. That's you and your children. In a national system designed to keep track of the people and that will operate under the ancient system of pledging. Every American will be forced to register or suffer being able to work and earn a living. They will be stripped of their rights and given a commercial value mm. designed to make us a profit. This will inevitably reap us huge profits beyond our wildest expectations and leave every American a contributor to this fraud, which we will call social insurance. Without realizing it, every American will unknowingly be our servant. However, begrudgingly, the people will become helpless and without any hope for their redemption, and we will employ the highest office presidency of our dummy corporation, USA, to format this plot against America. Colonel Edward Mandel House. 1919, Wilson broke with House and many other top advisors, believing they had deceived him in Paris. They were using a script written in the Holy Bible for the Antichrist, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. The number of your name is your social security number. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred, three score, and six. Right there. Thank you, Icy, for the video. Got him. No, I'm serious. Look at that. What is that? Oh, how it's lighting up the sky. Oh, you talking about that. Look at this. What is that? Looks like a drone. That's no light tower. That's a That's a UFO, man. That's a UFO. That's a UFO. What are y'all doing over there? Oh my god, I'm so scared. Here's Nazi Germany. They're fighting a war that is really defined by this idea of the superior white race. And African Americans have a vested interest in this war because they see it as an opportunity to strike a blow against fascism, but also an opportunity to gain freedom. African Americans have served in every major war in the United States. And it's a desire to serve their country. It's a desire to prove that they're loyal to their country. It's also a belief that in serving their country in that manner, they might convince white Americans that they're deserving of full citizenship. And this is something that you see all the way back to the American Revolution. How is this? Never mind, it's okay.
Okay, because that was for the skip this video. I was. Why is this on here? This is not no theory. <laughs> I'm just happy there was no death. Because I... Yeah, this video wouldn't have made the cut. You want me to help, Rose? No. Thank you. No, thank you. What do you want me to do? Why about yourself? <laughs> Worry about yourself. <laughs> I'll do this one, so I'm uh, gonna do that. You drive! <laughs> Worry about yourself! That video says she isn't wrong. Kids can do a great job even when it's hard. All a parent has to do is provide meaningful support and guidance. I'll end it there on that little beautiful, little cute little video. Y'all, I really appreciate you guys. You guys have been sending in so much great videos. I think this was a great video. I tried to make it lengthy, but I know I'm probably gonna have to edit some stuff out and, you know, maybe copyright, but it was it was a very great video, very informative. Love the videos that you guys are sending in. I truly do learn a lot and I really appreciate it. And for everyone that's asking, how do I get my video sent over to you? All you have to do is join the Discord. The link is in the description down below. It's a great community too. Like it's just, it's set apart. We can talk about like good music. We have like lessons, Bible verse of the day. We got general. I don't want to give out too much. Y'all got to add the Discord and join that to see all the stuff that we have in there. But it's a really cool Discord uh, community. I want to give all esteem, all glory, all honor, and all to my Lord, Yahuwah, and my Adonai, Yahushua, Mashiach for blessing me with everything as a whole. I'm just a vessel that they work in and through, so I have to give credit and honor where it is due. Shout out to all you guys, too. I'm very grateful, blessed, and appreciative of you guys as well. On the road to 800K. What in the world? <laughs> a lot of people but i'm so blessed i'm so grateful and i'm so appreciative uh because all esteem goes to yahoo and yahusha they trust me with this they're operating and they're doing all the they're pulling the strings in other words behind the scenes so just have to let that be known y'all shop perky shopperky.com get y'all some merch some some glorifying messages that are going to edify not only your body but those around you make sure if you buy some merch make sure to take a picture and send it my way so i can feature you on the website that is all for today y'all have a blessed one i'll see you on the next one shalom shalom you can't bring me down i know who i belong to yeah why i won't sell my soul